Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our last two boxes um, of 2020, or last two box break of 2020 Panini Prism Football. This is Ram Team Break number two. One spot gets you two teams. All card ship, a lot of fun stuff in here. Big thanks to these folks. Let's double you up. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. Like Sir Mix a lot. All the teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a two, four times. Hard four for each list. After four times, we got Nicholas down to Brian. Two and a two, hard four for the teams. One, two. And fourth and final time, we got Ravens down to Lions. Ravens playing a little bit later tonight. All right, do I have a, I think I have a checklist copied and pasted somewhere. There we go. So here is the checklist for Prism Football. If you want to try to work out some trades. Nicholas with the Ravens. Sean with the Browns. Derek with my Raiders. Adam with the Bears. Sue in with the Packers. John with the Colts. Kurt with the Broncos. John with the Panthers. Adam with the Cowboys. Chris with the Jets. Sean with the Steelers. Gary with the Seahawks. Kurt with the Cardinals. Gail with the Dolphins. Adam with the Falcons. Brian with the Rams and Buccaneers. Sue in with the Giants and the Chargers. Uh, Chris with the Niners, Adam with the Vikings, Derek with the Titans, Brian with the Saints, Brett with the Chiefs, Gail with the Pats, Brett with the Jags, Patrick with the Bengals and the Eagles, Nicholas with the Texans, Gary with the Bills, Sue Min with the Washington football team, and Brian Crouch with the Detroit Lions. Let's get all this on one page. Let's sort by column B. And I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then uh, we'll have the break, stick around. All right, hi, welcome back folks. A uh, Little bit of trade chatter, but no deals were done in the end here on the eighth. Thanks everyone for getting in. Now I don't think we're gonna have any more two box random team breaks, but we have, I think, one more case on the site, two half case pick your team breaks. So if you wanna go check that out, I think those are six box breaks. We'll check those out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Who does everyone have in this uh, Baltimore, uh, Dallas at Baltimore? Who does everyone have? Ravens are the favorites at minus nine. They got Lamar Jackson back, although will he be rusty after? A long layoff. Gemini says Baltimore by 16. Michael says Baltimore by 14. Oh, so no one's giving the Cowboys a shot, huh? I feel like the Ravens don't do well as big favorites. I don't know. I don't have the I don't have the numbers to back that up right now. <laughs> There's Willie Gay Jr. to 99. And these are the two. We're sleeving all the rookies, by the way, as you know by now. This is Melvin Gordon the third to 149. Denzel Mims and Epinesa.
There's Noah Fant to 175. All J Dog needs is for Cooper to get him six points in fantasy. That's all that matters. My fantasy seasons are uh, are done. <laughs> I'm like one one spot away from the playoffs in both of my leagues. I think I'm mathematically out. There's Raekwon Davis, silver. Autograph, that will be for Miami. That's going to go to Gale from the Dolphins. There is Danny Amendola to 199. Blue wave for the Lions. Lions with a, with a big comeback win. Much to the chagrin of my Bears fan friends. Danny going to Brian Crouch and the Lions. There's our first Justin Herbert. That'll be for Su Min. Got randomized the Chargers in this break. Can't believe that Anthony Lynn still has a job. C. Shebis JK wants to score a TD and seven rushing touchdowns, uh, or 70 rushing yards. He wouldn't complain about that. Ooh, I won by three points, and the guy I was playing had Mahomes and Tyree Kill. Yeah, that Tyree Kill didn't even know he had a... Oh, and there's another line, DeAndre Swift. Nice. Uh, Brian Crouch. Lions getting that, that post-Patricia win. Yeah, Tyreek Hill had caught a pass that went off his hands, and then it was falling back. It had cradled in his arm, but it, he, he didn't notice it. Oh, there's a tool right here, too. Miami, that'll be for Gale. And Tyreek Hill didn't say anything. I guess it was too late. Before they realized it, they didn't challenge it. Next play has happened, so on and so forth. Nice Tua. There's Joe Thomas, green scope to 75. Sorry, Ben. Yeah, got a few few uh, friends, handful of friends that are Bears fans. They were not happy. There's Tannehill, 125, Jerry, Judy, Anthony Jennings. Actually, it was on the Lions. And some investment on the Lions, plus three and a half points. There's Devin McCourty. But I just, I didn't think they would cover that way <laughs> in the way that they did. That's not the way I would have predicted the game flow. There's Brandon Cooks to 99. No, to 199. Different Brandon Cooks. Ooh, this guy, this guy's stock is up now, up even more. Jalen Hurts, Patrick Sullivan, and the Eagles. Let's top load this right now, just in case he throws for a couple hundred yards, rushes for a hundred yards, goes nuts. I think he'd be sleeved and top loaded by the shipping team anyway, but there's Kyle Rudolph to 249. It's for the Vikings, Adam Kupperman. Jake Fromm, Kyle Duggar. Josh Kelly and Chase Young. There are two autographs right there for box one. Let me sleeve up those rookies really quick. There's no way that that Nagy keeps his keeps his job in Chicago, right? That staff that staff is gone. They've got to be. Tony's predicting if Hertz throws over sixty percent with two hundred yard passing yards and two TDs, he's going to double in price. Let's go. <laughs> I want that to happen. 
I would start. I would start dusting off those uh, those Jalen Hurts you might have received in our group breaks. All right, Ben saying whole whole staff out in Chicago. Yeah, they got they got to get them out of there. I feel like there's going to be a decent amount of coaching vacancies, right? Just looking at last week's scoreboard, Falcons have an interim coach. Well, they might keep him. Uh, Lions and Bears squared off. They're both going to need new head coaches. I guess Browns and Titans are fine. Bengals and Dolphins are fine. They've got they've got their coaches. Jaguars no. Vikings no. Raiders no. Jets will need a new coach. Colts are set. Texans will need a new coach. Rams and Cardinals are fine. Giants and Seahawks are fine. Eagles, maybe. Might 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 be on a new coaching search. Packers are fine. Patriots, Chargers are gonna need a new coach. What about Denver? Think think they think they get rid of uh, Vic Fangio? He might be done. Chiefs are fine. Washington are good. Steelers are good. Bills are good. And Niners are good. That's a decent. I feel like is that more than usual? I know there's always coaching turnover, but. Like this, it's a little more than usual. Let me grab all these here. All right, second and final box here. Did Tua look good? I actually didn't watch that game. Tua looked good on Sunday. That could have been a that could have been a Joe Burrow Tua matchup. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Hurts, Hurts gets benched. Oh man, that'd be bad news for the Eagles if Hurts gets benched in the first half. No, you guys, you think aside from injury, that they got to keep him in the whole game. Give him give him all four quarters. See what he can do. True, that O line is terrible, but he can he can he can move a little bit. He can move a little bit, Jalen. Jalen hurts. He can move a lot. So maybe maybe that's maybe that's good news. Second and final box here in random team number, what is this? Number 12, I think. Yeah, 12. So Meeple Hardman, silver. Jonathan Taylor. Green scope to 75 for the blue horseshoes. Chase Young. There's Gronk. Gronk. That's the 125. Gronk smash. Gronk for the Buccaneers, Brian. And we've got the Edge, 35 out of 50, Franchise Legends autograph. Wow. John Deneen with the blue horseshoes. That was unexpected. He he is a franchise legend. <laughs> Derek will buy that right now. That went to John Deneen. I don't even know if he's in the chat. You might, might not notice this until later. There's Michael Warren to 149. But Derek Disser, Disser will get it. He might be in our Facebook group. And the second autograph is Jeff Gladney, 30 out of 49. I think that's uh, the Refractor's Purple Power, I believe. That goes to Adam and the Minnesota Vikings. Which sounds like a Prince fan, Purple Power. 
or Prince album. And we got a Brady stained glass. These stained glasses are few and far between. Brian Crouch with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Pretty nice. There's Cam Newton to 199. And the guy he faced, Justin Herbert. How did Panini know? Dun, dun, dun. There's Cam Newton. And there's Justin Herbert. Did Cam Newton have around these passing yards right here or more? I don't know, probably more. He only had 69 passing. How did they score all these touchdowns? What happened? Forty-eight rushing yards, but two touchdowns? Yeah, that's right, Miguel. I'm looking at the scoring plays right now. Yeah, Cam Newton opened the scoring with a touchdown, with a one-yard touchdown run after a 75-yard drive. Then there was a 70-yard punt return, then another two-yard two, two yard run after a long drive. Then there was a 44-yard return of a blocked field goal. Then a five-yard pass from Cam Newton, a field goal, and then a, and a pass from uh, Jared Stidham at the end of the game, a 38-yard pass from Jared Stidham. Jesus, New England had 40 points in fantasy? Jeez. Right, they, and they shut out the Chargers, too. Again, we were discussing this earlier. I'm not sure why Anthony Lynn has a job right now. Derek started Justin Herbert in fantasy, still somehow won. There's Ronald Jones. Rojo to 249. There's Evan Ingram, orange, to 249. Anthony McFarland to 49. And I think we're done with autographs, but our last parallel is going to be J.J. Watt. Turn down for Watt to 99. And that is for Nicholas and the Texans. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was two box random team break number 12. We have six box pick your teams in the store right now on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Go and check that out. I'm Joe, and I'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.